uh, Rebecca Von Ehrenkrook. I've been working with Angel Cosme. Um, we are uh, Mutual Aid Brockton is a branch of Brockton Interfaith Community and we started this because of the pandemic um, and the great need in our community. Um, so we started with the survey and uh, found out that people were really, really struggling in our community. So we uh, set up a, um, a, an account where you could donate toward Mutual Aid Brockton and um, we got out a lot of gift cards from Vincente's early in the pandemic and then uh, there were all kinds of donations that came in from the community. The idea was that we all have something to share and so um, Mutual Aid started a Facebook page so that people could post needs and then others in the community could, could meet those needs. Um, and it was really amazing to see how a lot of the people who were like struggling were like, you know, I'm struggling, but how can I help? And that is like the spirit of Brockton. It's just amazing how people have stepped up. A lot of the people who were like, I need, I'm struggling, I don't have food, I'm struggling with rent. They are now like leaders on some of our teams. We've, we, um, after, you know, going through the initial crisis time, we started to organize and we had some listening sessions with the community and the BIC's whole, um, at the essence of who Brockton Interfaith Community is, we are addressing systemic issues um, in the community around um, racial justice. And um, most recently, because of our work with mutual aid, we discovered that the community really wanted to organize around immigration and the struggles that our immigrant community is having. So we started an immigration team and a lot of the folks who were struggling and got some help with mutual aid are now leaders on that, that immigration team. Um, so we're really excited to see how they are like giving back to the community. Um, and so what we're doing right now, we're taking an immigration a survey for our immigrant folks to see what areas they're struggling with the most. And then we want to organize around that so that we can go to the people making, um, you know, to the lawmakers and um, just to make sure that, that our community is able to thrive, that there aren't any barriers. So for instance, one thing um, that we want to work on is driving families forward. We want to um, support that campaign in the state because we want our, our undocumented folks to be able to get work so that they can um, get money, so that they can apply for citizenship. It's, it's a, a cycle that um, we want our folks to be able to um, live their lives to the fullest and to be able to provide for their families. So that's just one of the, the, um, the things that the immigrant immigration team is working on, but there's gonna be a lot more that um, I'm sure the community will step up and say, hey, we need to work on this or that. So that's just a little bit of what we've done. Uh, Mutual Aid got over $60,000 to to some of our most at-risk folks who are struggling with rent and utilities and food. Um, and we're just thankful for, uh, for everybody in this community who stepped up for their neighbors. All right. Okay, so we have a Facebook page. It's Mutual Aid Brockton. Um, you can contact us through that Facebook page. Um, Brockton Interfaith Community is also connected with uh, DARK and um, Second Chance Justice. We have a lot of different groups connected with Brockton Interfaith Community, but I would say get on the, the Mutual Aid Facebook page or look up Brockton Interfaith Community. We also have um, a Facebook page. So, all right.
Start you when you feel comfortable. Spiel? Hi, uh, my name is Doom, and I'm the president and one of the coaches for the Brockton Bruisers Roller Derby. Uh, Brockton Bruisers Roller Derby came about a couple of years ago from a, actually a Facebook post. Someone had thrown out just kind of this idea of, would somebody want to play roller derby with me? Who wants to join, you know? And so a bunch of friends got together and just started a team. We started practicing at the Edgar Playground and uh, gathered up some coaches and started doing some community events and then COVID hit. So we're just now starting to get back out into practicing as a team, coming out to community events, promoting our team. Um, we are recruiting. We are looking for new folks who want to come and skate. You know, we do ask that you kind of be able to skate maybe just a little bit because we are out at a park. There's really not much to hang on to other than each other. And uh, we are just kind of starting to get back into learning. Roller Derby will teach you everything you need to know. Um, it's a great group of women. You know, it's a great community of people who want to uh, play together, support one another in life. And then uh, we're also trying to impact the city. We try to do uh, community events. We've actually done two backpack drives uh, over the last couple of years where we've given out over 100 backpacks full of be uh, school supplies for free. Uh, to, uh, we were at the Davis School last year. Um, we did at the Edgar Playground the year before. Um, so yeah, we're looking to kind of partner with other organizations and then even on our own to get out and do just good things for the city and uh, play roller derby. So come join us. Thank you. Anybody else? <laughs>
the immigration team and work with both um, a little bit more intimately because you start to see how beautiful the fabric of our community is, not just that we're living in separate wards, but the people that make up the wards and looking at the different needs. And so what we've done is we have different surveys um, that are helping people to understand how they can make a difference in their community. Um, for Operation Power Shift, um, we have the QRL code um, and um, it's explaining once you log on, you'll realize that you can become involved directly with the work, you can um, register to vote, and with the immigration, it's looking into seeing what are some of the needs um, of our community, and it's broken down into different languages. Um, accessibility, everyone makes a difference, and everyone matters here in Brockton. Thank you. All right, cool. So uh, my name is Evan Zalios. I am the mortgage loan originator for Abington Bank. Uh, we have six locations throughout the South Shore in Avon, uh, Holbrook, uh, Abington are the closest ones here to Brockton. Um, we're a full service bank, which means that you can get your checking account, saving account. Uh, you can get a home loan, which is what I do for a living. Um, we are truly here to, you know, invest in the community here in Brockton. Uh, we're here to, you know, have a presence and, and show people that, you know, we, we care about the community because we are your local community bank. Um, it's a beautiful day here at the fair. We're all super excited to be here. Um, if, you know, right now, if you're looking to get involved with the bank or if you have any questions about banking or home loans, which is my thing, um, we're having a checking promotion where you can get $200 for opening a checking account. Um, we're having a first time home buyers promotion. If you're buying a home, you'd like to get a loan, you get a, an eighth off of your rate. If you buy a house, um, you know, we're really trying to give back to the people, uh, that essentially come and, and fill our, uh, fill our banks up. Right. Um, you can go to abingtonbank.com. It's our website. You can visit any of our branches. Um, we're open Monday through Saturday, uh, and we'd be happy. Okay, so um, I'm Rita Mendez, Council at Large in Brockton, and I'm very happy to be here with all the residents finally. Uh, last year was a very difficult year for Brockton, and we just couldn't really have this event, and it's good to be back again out in the community and sponsoring such a nice event like this, going over to the tables and uh, meeting new people, buying stuff, and just seeing people that really loves Brockton and contribute each and every day for uh, the community to come together. So. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. My name is Jeff Thompson. I'm a Ward 5 City Councilor. Um, great day here at the park, Salisbury Park. Um, I've been out here for the last uh, few months trying to clean up this park. Uh, Trout Brook uh, runs through the back of this park. It's a, it, it's a beautiful brook. It has lots of uh, wildlife making its way through it. When we first got out here uh, about four months ago, we noticed that the trash was kind of uh, blocking up the waterway. It wasn't enabling the ducks and the uh, fish and uh, some of the different wildlife to make their way through this brook. So uh, me and some of the community members got out there and for about three, four, five weekends, uh, we spent some time cleaning out that brook 
We probably uh, over a hundred trash bags uh, worth of trash, uh, carts, bicycles. Uh, you, you wouldn't believe what we found in the brook, but uh, it shows what it, you know a uh, community effort. Uh, people recognizing a problem and then working together to resolve it. And so I want to thank everybody who participated in the uh, Salisbury Brook, uh, Salisbury Park cleanup. Um, uh, much appreciated, and uh, we'll we'll keep on uh, beautifying our great city. Um, beautiful day. Uh, I want to thank the Lions, the Brockton Lions, for uh, sponsoring this event. For Bill Hogan, uh, with the uh, Downtown uh, Historical Museum, who is also a sponsor of this event, and all the many sponsors along the side here, uh, who uh, came together and uh, wanted to give back to the community, allow uh, Salisbury Park really to be a, a focal point for the community. As you can see, this is a beautiful park. Um, a lot of land, uh, and, and Brockton needs uh, a focal point uh, to come together and you know talk about what we have to offer. There are many uh, vendors here uh, selling different wares or making people uh, aware of different events going on, different uh, civic societies, uh, uh, art, uh, food, music. So this is a really great day at the park. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it, and I welcome everybody to come to future events. Thank you, BCA, for uh, taking the time to allow me to speak to the constituents, and and um, I'll, I'll still be here working hard. Oh my God. 
So War II. Um, we have a lot of issues in War II, uh, specifically with a lot of homelessness and a lot of addiction problems down there in that area. And um, you know, we need more policing in that area. So um, hopefully that uh, if you vote me in and get me in if I make it in, I also gonna be I got good communication skills and good relationship with our federal federal government with Mr. Jerry Cassidy and Clay Cornyn. And they'll, they'll definitely help me uh, get that area together. Like Perkins Park, um, it's, it's horrible. There's people who are putting uh, crack and fentanyl together out there. People are dying on a daily basis over there. Uh, they're also stabbing and killing going on. Our crimes are going up. Instead of going down, uh, we need more police here in our area. We need a lot of help in war, too. Uh, lately, I haven't seen our counselor that's supposed to be in the area helping us uh, in charge to help us. Uh, but hopefully that uh, I get in. I promise to you guys that I, 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 those issues that we have, 
they will, will be minimized. They will not go away completely, but I guarantee you that I will minimize some issues that we have there in Brockton, especially in World 2. And I'm the uh, stem of the team. Hopefully, that, you know, that's it. Just uh, introduce myself. Introduce yourself, you know what I mean? This is all new views. This is going out to Brockton, you know what I mean? You're running for so this is like a uh, like a recap video of the event, sir? Exactly, exactly, exactly. I am Mike Smith, Ward 4 City Council candidate. Uh, vote for me and let's bring some change to the city. Pretty much what we're doing it is uh, accountability, safety, and growth. Accountability is bringing people to a justice of what they've been doing in the city to bring change. Growth-wise, we need more businesses out here. If you have no business in the city, then the city will fail. Uh, and safety-wise, our, our kids are our number one priority. There's a lot too many needles in the city, uh, run-down buildings, and all that needs to be cleaned up.